Yes, folks, today is the day that Microsoft has been promising for many years now. Granted, this uh, it's not as exciting as a, as a console launch for most of us, but this does affect almost every PC owner out there. So let's take a look back at what had 12 people rocking the night away at Office Max at about 12.01 a.m. Windows Vista. Six years in the making, hundreds of millions in development costs, but today Bill Gates proclaims that the next generation of Windows is here. Yeah, we've heard it all before. But is it really worth upgrading? Windows Vista comes packed with promises of improved features, like a new visual interface, tighter security, better search, and improved gaming. But Vista also comes packed with plenty of built-in criticisms. The high price tag, risky reliability, and the fact that it works best on hardware that you probably don't have. Is Vista enticing enough to make the jump from a stable XP? Is the price too high? Will Vista need some time to get all the kinks worked out? Show us your wow, baby. It's the loop. All right, folks, joining us via satellite tonight from the Microsoft campus in Redmond, Washington, group manager for Games for Windows, Chris Donahue is here, and from San Francisco, editor for Extreme Tech and host of DL.TV, Patrick Norton. Welcome to The Loop, guys. Thanks, Kevin. Patrick, I'd like to start with you, sir. Uh, the wow, Gates says it's here, it's now. Tell me, uh, <laughs> are you wowed? I know your cap's on backwards. Was it blown that way? Was the brim no, in no, front no, until it's... you installed Vista, or...? <laughs> I'm old, I'm feeling a little punk rock, you know, had to wear the catcher's mask. Actually, the Vista <laughs> install is amazing. It's so pretty, it installs fast, it promises to be more secure. Now that it's actually here, it's going to be interesting to watch that first six months to see what comes out of the woodwork to try to knock holes into it. Uh, the so, security so, so you've been wowed by the installation bar thus far? You've been wowed by a progress well, bar? Hey, that's a lot of work. Okay, I'm a geek. No, you I understand. Know, Chris, well, Chris is right. There's a lot of work that goes in the install, Chris. But, you know, everybody's initial reaction is, of course, wow, this thing is pretty. And, and I yeah. get that. And that's obviously very important in this day and age to have a piece of software that is aesthetically pleasing. But is there more? Like, what well, can this do? You're competing with OS X, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You are competing with, with what yeah. Apple's put out there. But is there, is there more to this thing? There's what can a, this thing a lot do more. that XP like, can't? Like I say, it's like a, like a Christmas present. It's pretty on the outside, but there's a lot on the inside. I mean, you mentioned it earlier. There's search. There's all of the, the security and stability functionality. We've rewritten the driver model. Um, the operating system is really rock solid. I've been using it for well over the last year. Uh, we've had a lot of people, I mean, I think Bill mentioned yesterday, 5 million beta testers. That's mm -hmm. a lot of people checking out the code and telling us what they like about it, what they don't like about it, mm -hmm. and any problems they may have. And, and, and as Patrick said, you know, we'll see in the next six months. Look, we're a big target, but we've responded, and that's what we spent the last sure. six years doing with, with, with Windows Vista. And that's the thing. Microsoft I mean, has always been a huge target. They've really had to, had to put up with dealing that. You had the big red bullseye. But, Patrick, do you think that this security is going to last, or do you think that six months from now it's going to be the same old patch and, and wait system that we had with XP? <laughs> I don't think patches are going away anytime soon. We, you know, on, on launch day, there were, there were patches that were starting to show up or additions to the operating system that were starting to show up other than the Hold'em poker, which is fabulous, i got to say. <laughs> but it's, you're looking at, what you're looking at is going to be, everybody in the world is going to be looking at this as a target. You know, if, if you've got a system that's more than two years old, you don't want to upgrade to the operating system. If your system's comfortable the way you are, you don't want to upgrade to the operating system. There's been some early tests that indicate um, if you're doing you know, gotta, things like rendering out large video files, the performance is down for XP. So you got to really think about whether you jump into this one on a new pc i'm going to disagree with your option. disagree with your point about upgrading if it's if your system's a couple of years old you know then you you may have to upgrade some hardware but you know there's so much more functionality and capabilities in vista just the search functionality and you couple that with office 2007 it's an incredibly powerful tool not just for business but also for personal yeah users. but office 2000 so between office 2000 and an upgrade to this you're talking about laying out a few hundred dollars assuming you're an office user the search is incredible but you know what i've been living with the clunky search in xp for the last few years i can probably get along with it until i buy my next system I mean, the question is, are you an operating system geek? Is this a shiny, exciting thing for you? Or do you use your computer every day? If your computer works for you, you know, you've got to think twice before dumping a new operating system on it. Although, like we said before, the install, the upgrade, much, much better over XP compared to, you know, and And I think you'll have a, you have a better experience overall. I mean, you know, the aesthetically pleasing stuff, while it is pretty, it also does have benefits. You know, eye strain, the ability to sit in front of your, your monitor for longer, those are all things that we took into consideration when we built Vista. Mm -hmm. That's all part of the graphics component. It's all part of the, you know, 
it's it's not just pretty. There's also a functional sure. change to it. And now, now well, obviously, we're right. talking about upgrades back and forth. Whether or not people will will take the hardware leap, whether or not they'll spend a couple hundred bucks to run a new version of Office. But upgrades. I, I, correct me if I'm wrong, Chris. I, they're probably a small portion of Microsoft business. You guys are probably focused on the new PC user, the, right, the guy right. who's getting a new machine that's going to come bundled with yeah. Vista and bring them into that family of OS. The majority, yeah, the majority of versions of Windows do go out on new PCs, and and you know Dell and HP and Gateway and all of those companies, IBM and and the rest of them are selling Vista PCs now. They've been selling Vista ready PCs and Vista right. premium capable PCs for you know for well over six months now. Um, so there's a lot of there's a huge install base out there that not only can run Vista but you know sure. are running Vista. But now, Chris, as someone who's very familiar with, with all operating systems and, and PC users in general, how long do you think it's going to take for something like Vista to become the standard, to become you know, the, the common ground that people develop for, that people are used to using? Well, I, the, the thing is, is that you, know, we, you mentioned DirectX 10, and we'll talk about that later on, but uh, you know, fundamentally, if you develop an application that runs well on XP, it's going to run well on, on Vista. Um, mm. you know, more gaming specific, there's some features and functionality we put in there that let people have a better experience and developers can take advantage of that give people a better experience on, on Vista than, than on XP. Uh, but as far as when Vista becomes a standard, I mean, Vista is the standard now, as far as I'm concerned. But uh, you know, as far as <laughs> as far as installed it's base goes, it's also the standard if you're buying a new PC <laughs> because you can't, and, you know, for like you mentioned, Dell, HP, well, Gateway. Unless you're a business customer, you can't get anything other than Vista, which I don't think is a problem on a new PC. All right, no, let's, let's very quickly talk about talk about DirectX 10 here because this is supposed to change the way we, we play games on our PC, which for our audiences, I'm sure, is is a huge issue here. But mm-hmm. then you have somebody like Quake pioneer John Carmack who says nothing is going to help a game by going to a new operating system, and that you know. He could run games on XP for years without actually upgrading it. And he said that, and, and this is a quote, that Microsoft was grasping at straws to find, <laughs> to find a reason for people to upgrade well, their computers. I, what do we think about that? I, I disagree. With, I mean, the, the thing is, is that we built Vista from the ground up to make play, game, playing games on, on Windows better. Um, the Game Explorer, Parental Controls, um, even the new graphics driver model that I mentioned earlier, all of those things were originally designed specifically to make gaming better on, a, on Windows Vista PCs. Um, XP's been great, and, and over the, the five or six years that it's been out, it's gotten more and more solid. Again, you mentioned the updates, and that's why. All right. All right. Patrick, final, final question to you, sir, very quickly. Are you going to upgrade, yes or no? Uh, well, I'm at work, I've already upgraded. I'm running two systems because I have to answer all the questions on DLTV about how do I make Vista do this, what's Vista doing that. At home, I'm going to wait a little bit. First place all I'm right. going to go with it is a Media Center edition. All right. Thank you, guys. I want to thank Chris and Patrick for keeping us in the loop. Appreciate it, guys. Look, Thanks, should, should you upgrade? That's the question, obviously. Basically, I, I liken the situation to women. You know, your current, current lady or operating system, she's stable. She gets the job done, but after six years... The act is getting a little stale, not going to lie. So the newer, younger model, well, she sounds appealing, but it all comes at a high price. Once you get past that glossy exterior, the problems start to surface. You've got compatibility issues, a lack of stability, which eventually could lead to serious security threats. So instead of giving up what's been treating you right for so long, maybe you should just take it easy with Vista. You know, get to know each other a little better first. Patience is a virtue, my friends. Attack of the Show, weeknights at 7, only on G4.